All right, welcome back for another episode of F1 Manager. And today we are heading to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix for round 10 on the calendar out of 22. Last race was a bit of a meh. Max Verstappen obviously winning the Canadian Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz coming home in second. We did try a strategy gamble with the wets and try to box for another set and then try to catch him up in the end. But Verstappen was just too far. But we really had nothing to lose anyway. So it was just, it was all right. Yeah, Charles Leclerc making mistakes, so yeah, we need to reduce that. It's just been a bit ups and downs, but we focus on the highs, and we're heading to Silverstone. This track should be alright for us. We are hoping to get a win, of course, that's what we're aiming for. And we're still leading both championships, especially constructors by a margin, so we are okay. We're here in legendary Silverstone, where the very first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held back in 1950. It's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport and the crowd are already crackling with excitement. Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. The season is about halfway through and it makes me wonder what else is in store for the teams. Well, there's only one way to find out. The competition is on. And radio check. Radio check, okay. Alright, Leclerc the first one out on track. They're going fastest in sector one. Looking like a good lap. Charles Leclerc, what is this time going to be? 1 minute 27 1. Alright. Not too shabby. That's a yellow flag. I don't know what's happening there. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. Huh. Better one We can wide. take a look now. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. They're wide. forced wide, and they won't be happy at all about that. Oh, I mean, it wasn't really forced wide. He and that the track. was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Science in a green sector one. What about sector two? What's that going to be? Still a green sector two. Not too bad, but then, you know, we need, we've got a lot to improve on. Around the final corner for Carlos Sainz. What is this like going to be? Only third fastest. I'm gonna go on board with Max Verstappen, who still hasn't set a lap yet, but he does have a Williams in front of Nicholas Latifi. So I wonder if that's going to comp compromise Max's lap as he goes around the final corner. What is his lap going to be then? Hamilton goes third fastest. Max Verstappen only fifth fastest. So you do get held up by the Latifi there.
see Magnus and Beckett go Carlos Sainz. Looking really grippy of the car. He does feel alright with it, I can already tell. He is full fast so far. The checkered flag goes out. Sainz setting yet another personal best. Not the fastest, but still fast enough. He could possibly get into third at least. Around the second to last corner. Sainz is only lap. What is this time going to be? Is he going to improve? Yes, he does. Second place. But we've got the red one in the back of Sergio Perez. Only third fastest. We've got a Mercedes in the background of George Russell. Seventh fastest. The Alpines. Alonso stays sixth. Ocon stays eighth. And we've got the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. The home favour. The, the fans will be chanting on the seven time world champion. What's this lap going to be? Only fourth fastest. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen moves up into third ahead of his teammate Sergio Perez. The Red Bull is going to be quite a challenge, I can already tell. Meanwhile, Schumacher in the drop zone. He's going to need to improve his lap if he wants to get out of that. And he is already out of that. So what's he going to do? Stays in 15th. But he is out of Q1. So Ricardo, Vettel, Stroll and the two Williams out in Q1. On board with Max Verstappen as he's doing his lap. Science setting the purple sector. Going through cops with Max Verstappen heading towards Magnus and Beckett. That Red Bull is looking quick. So is Carlos Science. He is looking quick as well. Setting only a green. Sector 2, which is quite interesting. Magnussen crosses the line with a 128.8. Max and Sappen round the final corner. What is his lap time going to be? Obviously faster than the Haas. So 127.3. Science has to try and beat that. Never mind. Two point, no, 1.7 seconds off the pace. Norris stays in fourth. Interesting. We'll send the clear out. Science goes fastest in sector one once again. Sector two still a green. The clear only setting a personal best in sector one. Science really needs to improve sector three if he wants to get in the top. Three. Around the final corner, on board of Carlos Sainz. Is he going to improve his lap? Of course he is. He gives pole position with a 127.2. Damn right. And Leclerc, meanwhile, setting a purple sector too. So if he nails the last sector, he could possibly beat Carlos Sainz for pole position here. Only a couple more corners to go for Charles Leclerc. Is he going to make it stick and go and possibly pole position with seven minutes to go? Yes, he does, with a 127.2. Charles Leclerc on pole position so far, with seven minutes on the clock remaining. Check a flag goes out. There's the time that people have to beat Charles Leclerc's lap of a 127.233. Is anybody out on track going to be able to beat that lap? We will see. As found the final corner goes Fernando Alonso in his Alpine. Can he improve from sixth place? Only time will tell. No, he does not. Stay sick. The Alpha Tari behind a Pierre Gasly stays in fifth. What about Valtteri? Mm. What? No, sorry. What about Lewis Hamilton? Let's see. Let's spectate Hamilton. Who else can you say that? Sonoda, eighth fastest. Hamilton, meanwhile, goes fifth fastest. Sergio Perez, fourth fastest. Max Staff around the final corner. He's going to be a threat to us. What is his time going to be? Science stays second. The Staff and moves nowhere. He stays in third. Couldn't beat that. Meanwhile, Valtteri Bottas. Stays only ninth. What about Kevin Magnussen? Also got to keep an eye on George Russell as he moves up into eighth place. What about Kevin Magnussen? Is he going to get out of the top ten? No. What about Granny Zhou? Of course not, because he spun. What am I talking about? Q1 done and dusted. Your man Charles Leclerc on pole, and it's a Ferrari one two. Alright, 
So the time we have to beat for Q3, Sergio Perez setting a 1 minute 27.5. Charles Leclerc improving in sector 1. Sector 2 only a green. You can see the Alpha Tari behind, so he probably had traffic. Speaking of traffic, here's the two Mercedes and there goes Carlos Sainz. Getting out of the way, possibly. What is he doing? They're going side by side. That's going to cost Charles Leclerc in the final corner. Bit of a meh. Goes second fastest, so that is interesting, I must say. Anyway, let's go on board with Carlos Sainz. I'm not quite sure if he's doing a lap yet. I believe so. Uh, Carlos Sainz sets a green sector one. Leclerc will have another shot. And get this lap done. You see Carlos Sainz and Ferrari heading through cars. The car is just on rails, literally. Heading through Magas and Beckers on one with Carlos Sainz. He's ruthless. On the brakes, needs to nail every corner and apex right. Is he going to improve through Sector 2 though? Yes he is, setting a purple Sector 2. This lap is looking very good. And he could possibly go for pole if he nails the last sector. No traffic up ahead, nothing for Sainz to worry about. It's all about him and nailing the corners right. Through the second to last corner now. Is Carlos Sainz going to improve and possibly go for pole position? We'll see right now. And it is pole! 127.3, shout! So, sorry, Carlos Sainz goes on pole position. Meanwhile, Charles Leclerc getting ready to do his possibly last lap as there's 2 minutes 40 remaining on the clock. Carlos Sainz setting the fastest lap. Oh, okay, never mind. Charles Copy. is going into the pits. Oh, No! Okay, Charles is not going to be able to set a lap. Fuck sakes. Okay, never mind. Session's ended. Signs with a 127.3. Got to keep an eye out for the Red Bulls. Leclerc just did have time to do another lap. We've got George Russell up ahead, actually. Let's go on board with him. Two of the Brits in Q3, which is the two Mercedes. What lap is George Russell going to do from here? Around the final corner. He's going to want to improve if he wants to get in the second row. Hamilton goes full fast. What about his teammate, George Russell? Stays in eight. Sergio Perez in second place. Meanwhile, the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Can he improve? And if so, will he be able to smash pole position here? Yes, he does. A 127-312. Max Verstappen is on pole position as it stands. Unless any of these not can do it, it doesn't look likely. Bottas stays in 10. Max Verstappen absolutely demolished that lap by 0.0110 seconds. Max Verstappen, your man on pole position for the race. Wow. Alright then. So. This is going to be interesting. What's this? What's what we're going to do here then? Leclerc starting in fourth, Carlos Sainz starting in second. So, what's this thing saying? So, it's more looking like a two stop. So, we're going to put Leclerc on a two stop. Plan A mediums onto hards onto mediums. Or, can we just change that and put him, I don't know. Thing is, if we put Leclerc on stops, it will be on U sauce. So no, I think we'll just keep him on mediums and then for science. We'll put him on the same as well, but... We can change it up by 
extending the hearts. No. Okay, never mind, we'll lose pace. I was gonna say switch to the softs. Doesn't matter, okay. We'll just stick with that. And yeah, let's see how the race will do. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. Taking a look here at Carlos Sainz. A second place start for them today. They're in with a real chance. Leclerc there, down the grid. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Everything's been building to this. Hold on tight. It's the British Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. All right, then. So, look, they're getting up to a brilliant start, actually. Could possibly get past Perez, and he does. But they're still side by side at it. Perez is not giving up without a fight. Yeah, he's already up into lap one. Charles Leclerc looking like he's getting past. But no, they're still side by side. This is what you love to see. But Lewis Hamilton in the back thinking, but no. <sighs> Leclerc couldn't keep that up. At the moment you have P4, P4. Red Bull gained a place. Paris overtaking Leclerc. And we need to push for these laps. You're doing a good job. Okay. Still got a long way to go. <laughs> you know, up ahead, Carlos Sainz chasing down Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez in the back. But look how close Carlos Sainz is. Going through Magnus and Beckett. the nose of Carlos Sainz's Ferrari. He is keeping up with Max Verstappen despite already being lap one. Sainz meanwhile with the fastest lap of the race. Of Charles Leclerc, he is catching up to the top three of Sergio Perez, Sainz, and Verstappen. Going through Magnus and Beckett, sparks flying from both the Red Bulls and the Ferraris. Look how close Charles Leclerc is to Sergio Perez. He could possibly make a move through the straight, and he's catching up rapidly. Full attack of Charles Leclerc, and you see in the background, there goes Carlos Sainz trying to get past Max Verstappen. Got a lot of battle on our hands. Couldn't get past that, could Charles Leclerc? An attempt to use his ERS as well. And you can use DRS. DRS enabled as we enter lap three. Here goes Carlos Sainz catching up with Max Verstappen. So he will have a good shot up here. An attempt to use his ERS. Time to switch it up. Let me tell the player to load the aggression just to save some tire wear. Max is going defensive. We can push a bit more. Here goes Carlos Sainz, meanwhile. Catch up to Verstappen. Going around the outside is he Carlos Sainz around Verstappen. This is going to be very tight. Sainz just yeah, getting the nose up ahead and gets past Verstappen for the lead. Carlos Sainz leads the British Grand Prix, but it's not over yet. As you see, Max Verstappen still catching up. So Carlos Sainz, can he possibly overtake through cops? Doesn't look like it as he's far back, but Charles Leclerc getting past. Sergio Perez in the back, as you can see. This is going to be an interesting fight. 
Yeah, Perez falling back. Charles Leclerc, meanwhile, look at the speed of that Ferrari. Max Verstappen, meanwhile, trying to get past Carlos Sainz with that DRS. Charles Leclerc also getting passed by. This is going to be very intense. Look at the battles we're experiencing here. Verstappen with the lead. It's down the inside. Go Charles Leclerc. But Verstappen just holding both the Ferraris off. Through goes Verstappen for the lead. Oh my, oh my. At the moment, we are the fastest car on track. Leclerc setting the fastest lap meanwhile. With that battle going on on 132.3. This is going to be very interesting. Science meanwhile is DRS. Leclerc trying to overtake Verstappen. So is Carlos Sainz. He's three wide as Carlos Sainz goes into the inside and overtakes both the Red Bull and the Ferrari. Oh my, oh my. Look at this battle. This is what the home fans wanted to see. Verstappen getting pushed off. And so does Leclerc. Yeah, I don't know what's happened there either. Oh, here goes Charles Leclerc into Cops. How is this going to turn out to be like? Oh, so close. As they both go side by side into Cops. How are they still side by side? Look at this. Charles Leclerc taking the lead from Max Verstappen into second place. Two Magnus and Beckers. Oh my god, we need to see a replay here's of that. Here's the replay. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Leclerc just getting a brilliant run into Cops. Look at this. None of them backed out. The grip on the cars. Look at this, and side by side go. through Cops, and Leclerc the takes the win out of that battle. But so far the tyres are alright for both Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Because Max Verstappen. Oh, getting pushed off the track there is Max Verstappen. Really defend, but Verstappen pits. So Verstappen's thinking of pitting early. What's he thinking of doing? Everyone's gonna go on hard. Pretty decent stop from Verstappen. We're going to pit science this lap. Copy box. Yeah, box. See science pit in this lap. And Sergio Perez follows. Leclerc takes the lead of this race. And we can stop here from the team. Hopefully we do not get held up. Charles Leclerc taking the fastest lap of the race. We and should be ahead of Max Verstappen. If I'm right. Yeah, we're going to be ahead of Verstappen. So that's a good pit stop from the team. Getting ahead of Max comfortably. And Leclerc in the pits now. So he should be ahead of Verstappen at least. That's what we're hoping for. Mm, it's a very slow stop. I don't know why it took that long. Gonna be a very tight exit though. Is Leclerc going to get ahead of Verstappen? Just about! Charles Leclerc just about getting ahead of Verstappen. Oh. Despite, so, uh, speaking of that, another car has spun in Sector 3. I wonder who's that? Oh, there's a crash apparently. Several cars. I don't know who spun. Who's that that just crashed? 
we can Looks take like the Alpha Tower. Now. I was going to see a replay of this. this. Pierre Gasly. That's a weird camera angle. Oh, there's the Aston Martin. Oh, no. And there's the crash. Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. What the fuck just happened? Okay, Vettel has damage. Apparently. Actually, wait, that might be a penalty. I don't I don't actually know. Alonso, meanwhile, leading the race. Carlos Sainz behind. That was a very weird incident. Okay, so for Staff and Pitts, he's going for a set of mediums. So this is going to be interesting. The hards are still okay, though. 66% wear. So that is an interesting stop from the staff, and it will probably pay off at the end. But we can definitely hold on to the hards and possibly switch to the softs for the remaining couple of laps. We're just going to pit the Claire for mediums, actually. Just play it safe. Box this lap, box. Copy, box. Be clean. All right, Charles Leclerc going into the pits. And we need speed limiter on, speed limiter on. 27.7 gap. So the staff him. Make a good stop here, guys. 2.6, good job. Charles Leclerc on the mediums. Perez going into the pits as well. It's going to be interesting. I want to tell the science just to push as much as possible on this lap. Okay, free air in front, head down. Yeah, all good. And I think in lap 40 we will pit science. We can pit science this lap for a set of mediums. And they can go to the end of the race. Pit confirm and box. Yeah, or box. we can actually put science on a fresh set of socks. Okay, box, box. And he will be ahead of Max Verstappen. Yeah, box. So science really? comes into the pits. Okay, he'll be on softs, and a Claire will be in free air. And then will both Ferraris be ahead? Of the Red Bulls, the sign comes in for his pit stop. 2.4, lovely. So they're only 91% more, so it's like new tyres. It's alright, and we'll definitely be ahead of the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Sign's coming out of the pit on fresh softs. Max Verstappen, meanwhile, on fresh mediums, I guess? Good to go. As you can see, the British fans applauding as the race winner. Your leader, Charles Leclerc, only has a couple more corners to go as the Williams of Alex Albon letting Leclerc by. He has been a sensational all weekend. Despite starting fourth, it's going to be his eighth podium in this season, and it's going to be his seventh winner. Charles Leclerc crosses the line and wins the British Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc. Wins in Britain, wins in Silverstone, difficult. Carlos Sainz comes really home, really second place, there's another Ferrari 1-2 and takes the fastest lap of the race, Max Verstappen, he tried to fight it out, brilliant fight, but comes home for third, Sergio Perez, about to go through the last couple of corners to come home in P4. Fernando Alonso for Alpine, coming home in fifth place. Brilliant result for Alpine from Alonso's side of the garage. And you've got George Russell around the final corner in front of the home crowd, comes home in sixth place, and Lewis Hamilton, as you see behind there, coming home in seventh.
Grande Navoro, Grazie. P1, just what we want. It's a red letter day in Hamilton's backyard. Ferrari is back. Well, this was definitely Charles Leclerc's weekend. A truly well-earned podium here, and a dream come true for everyone involved. And the Monegasque driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. And after all that hard work, surely it's time for them to enjoy this moment. Ferrari had a very good race, proving they're definitely a team to contend with. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy, and it's great to see that pay off. I can't wait to find out what they show us next time. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian forest. The Austrian Grand Prix is right around the corner. Well then, Charles Leclerc from fourth on the grid to third. He wins in Silverstone. It's another Ferrari 1-2 and we extend the Drivers' Championship. Once again, as Charles Leclerc extends his lead. Meanwhile, Carlos Sainz are catching up to Max Verstappen in the Drivers' Championship and he can possibly retake second place. Meanwhile, we extend our, we extend the gap between Red Bull and the Constructors, but both Red Bulls in third and fourth, so the gap has been shortened but extended, but if that even fucking makes sense, but you get the point. That's going to be our 10th podium of the season so far. This is pretty good. This is what we like to see. Alright, and that's going to be it for today's episode of F1 Manager. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the series and the content on the channel. Put your notifications on if you want to be the first to watch my recent video that I upload. And I will see you lot in the next episode or the next video of anything that I upload. Stay tuned.